Greg, we've probably interviewed you more than any other player post-match, and for good reason, of course. And this evening, you scored the goal that separated the sides. Yeah, um, nice penalty. Uh, good run from Tom Holland. Uh, obviously got his uh, body in, in between the ball and the uh, defender well to win a penalty for me. Um, in the back of my mind, obviously, last penalty I took uh, missed away at Newtown, so that was in the back of my mind a little bit. So I thought, you know, just give myself a good chance. You know, even if I do miss, at least give myself a chance of uh, scoring. So hit it harder than I normally hit a penalty, and a bit higher than I normally hit a penalty, and it just come off the underneath of the bar. So um, no. Yeah, good penalty in the end. <clears throat> well, I was going to mention the penalty at Newtown because, of course, that wasn't converted. So it was, as you say, an ideal opportunity to score, to put that wrong right. Yeah, that was, um, you know, obviously being nil-nil as well. It was uh, made it a bit more uh, nerve-wracking. Obviously got us uh, got us into the lead and um, obviously ended up getting us the three points because uh, we only won one nil. So uh, no, nice important goal and. Uh, Again, another solid performance all over, I thought. And as far as goals are concerned, for the side at least, falling short, very close, but not quite hitting that century of league goals. Uh, yeah, obviously finished the season on 99, so um, you know you can't really you can't really be disappointed with that. I know it would have been nice to get to the 100, but if you uh, set out to achieve um, anywhere close to 100 goals at the start of the season and you get to 99, then yeah, you've done really well. So uh, no, we're not disappointed at all. <clears throat> but on a personal level, you've certainly found the back of the net on a number of occasions. Yeah, uh, another golden boot. Um, five clear going into tonight's game and then sort of come off the bench and come around and check the phone straight away to see that Liam Thomas had scored three and there was still about a quarter of an hour to go, so it was a bit of a nervous 15 minutes, but um, I don't think he added to it. So. Uh, yeah, I think I won there. Uh, one with three goals uh, clear. So, um, yeah, just nice to uh, follow up with last season. Golden boot with another one this year. And we've talked about goals at the one end, but let's talk about the other end as well. Another defensive performance that produced a clean sheet. Yeah, unbelievable. I just asked Blaine down there, how many times does he uh, think he edited the ball tonight? It must be 50 times. Jack the same. H come out and uh, punched a couple as well. So, uh, um, no, everyone to be fair, not just M3, but everyone as well was, uh, you know, put their body on the line and, um, you know, another clean sheet. So I think that's 20 for the season. Uh, so again, another unbelievable achievement and one that you know you probably wouldn't set out to achieve that many at the start of the season. So uh, you know, again, hats off to everyone really for getting there. And although that was the final game of the JD Welsh Premier League season, it was a dress rehearsal for next week's JD. Welsh Cup final. Yeah, uh, obviously Connor's key again. Um, Kevin Druid, so uh, that pitch will suit us hopefully. Um, you know, I just have to see what happens. Obviously, it's going to be a one-off game. Anything can happen. They're going to be well up for it. We're going to be well up for it. So uh, it should be a it should be a great final. Well, Greg, is congratulations all round. Congratulations on the title. Congratulations on the golden boots. Scoring the winning goal this evening, and of course, most importantly, lifting the eighth consecutive title on the bounce. Thank you.